Hello everybody and welcome to another game news roundup. Before we get into this, if you enjoyed these videos, be sure to hit the like button, be sure to subscribe, and if my voice sounds a little raspy, a little nasally or whatever, I am dealing with seasonal allergies as pollen is, well, out. So bear with me. But we have an update on Microsoft's Activision Blizzard acquisition today. The Competition Commission of South Africa, the regulatory body in South Africa, has unconditionally approved Microsoft's Activision Blizzard acquisition. So their direct quote <clears throat> from their report, or their press release, uh, the primary competition concern in this transaction arose from the vertical concern that Microsoft may, post-merger, restrict the distribution of Call of Duty to the Microsoft console, Xbox, or make Call of Duty available on terms that exclude or undermine the ability of other console manufacturers to compete. Obviously referring to uh, PlayStation and Nintendo, although Nintendo, as you know, doesn't have Call of Duty yet. Um, the commission found that the proposed transaction is unlikely to result in, in, in significant foreclosure concerns as the parties do not have the ability and incentive to foreclose competing game distributors, particularly Sony's, PlayStation, and Nintendo's Switch. Um, furthermore, the merging parties have made undertakings to continue supplying Call of Duty games to other console manufacturers as Sony has... as uh, Sony. Microsoft has signed an agreement with Nintendo to bring Call of Duty Nintendo platforms for the next 10 years, as well as signing three... Uh, is it three at this point? Maybe even four... 10-year deals um, with three cloud streaming services, NVIDIA's GeForce Now, Boostroid, and Ubitus. Um, so yeah, the South African regulator did continue. Therefore, the commission found that the proposed transaction is unlikely to result in a substantial prevention or lessening of competition in any relevant markets. The commission further found that the proposed transaction does not raise any substantial public interest concerns, and now they have approved the deal joining japan chile brazil saudi arabia and serbia have all approved the deal unconditionally without requiring any remedies of course we're still waiting on the big places to approve the deals the uk us and the european union are the big ones we're still waiting on um which the european union after getting microsoft submitting remedies to the european union um has a deadline of may 22nd i believe UK's deadline, the regulators, is next week. The 25th or 26th of April. I forget the exact dates. One of those two dates, I'm pretty sure. Um, so hopefully, sometime by the, some, by the end of next week, we will know if the UK has approved or blocked the deal, and then the European Union will know in the next month or so, and then the US, well, we'll see how things go. Uh, but yeah, so that's another country to have approved the deal. Um, so yeah, this was going to be a quick little update on Activision Blizzard acquisition by Microsoft. Um, how, what do you think of this <clears throat> so far? Another country approving the deal. Do you Are you in favor of this deal? Are you like, I don't care one way or the other on this deal? Or are you against um, this acquisition by Microsoft? Uh, let me know in the comments section down below. And again, if you enjoy these, hit the like button, subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching for this quick little Activision Blizzard update. And I'll see you all next time for some more gaming news, game sales, and any other information from the gaming industry that comes out. Thank you all so much for watching. See you all next time.